All right, I'm making a little video on how to turn silver to black. Um, I kind of, I didn't find a lot of video, a lot of good videos out there to do this in Photoshop, and I have to do it all the time, and um, it looks pretty good. It's passable, you know, sometimes you just don't have that option to take a picture, um, and this is really for my own personal reference, so I'm just going to kind of speed through it really fast. Some people might appreciate it, some people might hate me for it, but it's the way I'm doing it. Um, so let's start. I made a uh, clipping path already of the part. Um, you know, just speed this up a little bit. First thing we want to do is create a. Um, we want to do a solid color and get it to about like a gray and just hit OK real quick. Now we want to change this to. We want to change it to multiply and. Um, Obviously, it looks terrible, so we need to we need to fix that. Um, let's create a group. Take the clipping mask and just apply it to the group. And then we want to take the solid color fill layer and put that in the group. And now we have something that looks a little bit closer to what we want. But I think we can do a little bit better with the color. Um, I find that if you kind of bring um, the color picker closer to like a blue, you get a better black. Just kind of play around with it. You know, you just, if you'll have the part in front of you, you'll know what color looks better. I think that looks pretty good for what we're going to do. Now, the next thing I need to do is add a curves adjustment layer to it. And, um, I just kind of do like a standard S curve. You know, it gives it that nice black look. And now we want to we want to brighten it up a little bit. So let's do one more curves adjustment layer. And this time we're just going to go all the way up and make it super bright, which looks terrible. But we're going to do something about that. Double click your curves layer. And now Let's change, um, hit um, control on your keyboard and click on, I'm sorry, hit alt on your keyboard, click there, then you start adjusting it here, click here, I'll alt and click, and then just try to bring back that black, but we just want to keep some of the shine that's in there. That's what we're kind of going for. Just play around with it. Every part's a little different. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. Yeah, too gray. I like that. And then when when you get something you like, hit OK. Just take a look, see what you see if you like it or not. That looks pretty good. And then the other thing I like to do is just add a uh, black and white layer, and just start adjusting some of the um, some of the colors. See if you could bring out that black a little bit more. Because sometimes when you're doing this, when you're turning anything to black, it tends to look unnatural a lot of times. Yeah, it's getting a little better. Magenta always does a little bit here. You can see kind of gave it just more of a true black color and then the last thing I'll do um, select your top layer hit shift control alt and E now you've got uh, an isolated layer and that's it 